Sports Talk 1080 The Team Orlando's Tuck and O'Neill with Mike Tuck. I'm Jerry O'Neill. Got the football. I got a football subject. When are you going to shave? Tomorrow. Really? Yeah, you keeping count? No, I just noticed. You look like a goat. <laughs> I mean, have you been growing here? You want me to kick you like a goat? No. <laughs> we used to have pet goats when I was little. Pet sheep. It's uh, a good story. It really was. I lived on a farm. Did you? Yeah. I, I didn't live five. on a farm. They didn't live on a farm. We had cows and pigs really? and chickens, yeah. How we do Yeah. You didn't turn out to be a farm boy. <laughs> no. Uh, we we got, moved away. We got the football out. <laughs> We're going to get to a topic. I asked Mike in our uh, office that we share, how many points would you need to bet on Denver in the Super Bowl? Now, I don't gamble. I really don't. Truly don't. I'm afraid to go to Vegas because I'm afraid the little money I've accumulated, I would lose betting on sports. Okay, and I couldn't stop myself. I'm an addict. Now, that being said, how many points would you need to bet Denver in the Super Bowl? Well, real quick, the line opened at four at most places, three and a half, four, four and a half. It's up to five and a half at most places. You can find six right now. Wow. We'll see what happens over the next week. But I have a question for you. Because okay. immediately I was like, all right, let me look how this compares to Carolina. They're the favorite in the game. Right. They won 17 games this year, including the two postseason games. Okay. How many of those 17 wins were decided by seven points or less? Were you going to grab the schedule? Or am I guessing? I'm just guessing. I, didn't, I wouldn't know. I had to look. How many are decided by what? Seven points or less, a touchdown or less. Four? Seven. All right. So what do you ten, want me to do? Roll around no, on the ground? Ten of their crying? wins, ten of their wins were decided by a touchdown or more. Right. So they were a dominant team most of the year. Sure. And played very few close games. They did lose a game, obviously, in there as well. Only played a few games, then went down to the wire. So if you're asking me what I'd feel comfortable with, I would say seven and a half would be the number to get above that touchdown. That that's where I'd feel comfortable. It's not to say that Denver can't cover a lower spread, but you look at what Carolina's done, and you can't help but ignore that, right? Yeah, especially I look at what Carolina's done and what Denver has done. Because those are the two teams playing, right? I mean, I, I'm going to be pulling for Peyton Manning to close out his career and to walk off into the sunset, maybe into the arms of John Elway or his wife. Not John Elway's <laughs> wife, Peyton's own wife. <laughs> Awkward. His, yeah. But that being said... I mean, I, I could see, honestly, I could see the same kind of beatdown that Seattle gave Peyton and Denver two years ago in, on Super Bowl Sunday. Really? Oh, gosh, You yes. could see them hanging 43 points on this Broncos defense. Yes. Wow, I could not. I and, definitely and could not. Listen, what I'm saying is some of that day was also pick six, defensive turnovers that made short field, and similar to what we saw last week against Arizona, similar to what we saw against Seattle, albeit those games were at home against, uh, you know, in, in Charlotte, I still think this Super Bowl has the chance to get really out of hand for Carolina. Be shocked if it's not a double-digit win. Be shocked. For me to bet Denver. Yeah, how, how many points? I need ten and a half. Oh, well, that's not too terrible then for what you were just saying, but okay. It's not going to get that high, so I guess you're taking Carolina. Yeah, rooting yeah. for Denver, taking Carolina. We'll talk more about it all the way up to the game. On radio, we've got the game, and we're on weekdays 3 to 7, Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando.